Let's start this a little different. Ooh. Is this thing on? Ooh. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. It's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Let's go. What up, baby? We here. That's not Christian podcast. This is your boy Switch. I'm here with your boy Ant. I'm here with your boy Jimmy. And I'm here with your boy Jay. And man, oh man, what a weekend, man. Fellas, tell me how was y'all weekend, man? Yo, forget the. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> I, I'll start it off. I'll start off because I have an interesting story. So I was supposed to fly to Austin, Texas right, right. on Saturday, but uh, they canceled my flight. And uh, there was no real explanation. They just wow. said, hey, um, if you want to still wait, go to hold Texas. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before what? they canceled your flight, they called uh-huh. you and like, come to the airport right now, didn't they? Yes, yes. So bef- so, <laughs> so, when that happened, they said, yeah, if you want if you want to go to Austin, Texas, it, uh, it was on Friday. Right. Uh, you need to leave today. Right <laughs> it was on Friday. And uh, you can Wait, they called the you that day. same day? They emailed me. Oh, and then, they didn't even call you to email. No, no, no. They emailed like, me. Like yeah. people really check the emails, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure they emailed me a few days before to let me right. know. But I, if you look at my phone, I have like 700 emails. I have. Wow. I haven't even like China. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> time to delete the email. So, 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 so then they told you like, you know what? Forget it. There's no flight for you. Yeah, they said no. I asked them, "Hey, what if I fly to a different uh, airport?" Right, um, and they're like, "No, we we have no flights going out that day to Austin, Texas." Wow. And I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, let's get my money back then." And that, <laughs> that was that. that. Yeah, was that it. was that. And then you, they and gave then it you back. Got, yeah, yeah, they gave it back. And then you bought American Airlines stock. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, I don't have American <laughs> Airlines stock. I said, nah. That's they have too much debt. So I'm not wait, a financial advisor. What about like your your room and board and all that? Like you know? uh, that was ca- I canceled it. Oh man, did yeah, you yeah. lose out? Like you must have, N- right? No, because of COVID, uh, the cancellations are just you can cancel. You're okay, good. like twenty mm-hmm. like twenty four hours before or whatever. Um, yeah, you have twenty. You have up until the day to cancel. Okay, sweet. That's yeah. Cool. Well, so, so then that's a blessing. Then I mean, in that kind of sense, where you didn't yeah, lose yeah. out, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So what did you do then since you had all that money to play with? <laughs> did you book I mean, another trip? <laughs> I, I mean, I have another one coming up in October, but that's not with uh, that particular airline. Um, what did I do? So we have an issue in my home. So this is why it's like a different set. There's no crib in the back or whatever. Um, we had uh, some issues with mold growing. So right now we're hotel to hotel. Um, until they fix all of that stuff. So um, we wind up just uh, going to the city and just staying there and uh, being tourists. Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. you was. I thought you were in Austin, and you know, I haven't. I haven't been to New York in years. And so you show, you you're like sending pictures of of, of New York. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Where is that? <laughs> you know, <what> I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, it's New York. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Word. Yeah. That's about it. Mine was pretty cool. I went. I went to um. Well, it was my son's birthday this weekend. Hey, other you know, birthday. Yeah, yeah, he turns yeah. five years old. So, uh, big man. We went to my in laws' house, and then we went to my mother's house the next day. So it was just getting every order decorations, cakes, whatever else is part of that. You know. Hey, that party looked lit, bro. <laughs> that party looked. I remember those days, man. Having those kids parties. Yeah, and your cousins come over, right? Everybody, yeah. everybody's, everybody's there. over the crib, man. It, that party looked lit. Everybody like, bring a dish, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it was a blessing, man. That's dope. Every, everybody social distancing. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> we told y'all COVID's over, man. Now you can get pine saw, man. You know what I'm saying? You get pine hey. saw, you can clean it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. All this time, pine yeah, saw been sitting on shelves, yo. What about you, Ant? What you got into, man? Um, this yeah, uh, this weekend we um oh I had a um one of my wife's friends, her um her husband passed. 
Oh, so we wow. was at yeah, we was at a memorial service uh, Saturday. Um, then after that, we went over um, one of our friends. He's one of the pastors at the church. We went and had dinner over there. Um, kind of let the kids play with each other, spend time over there. And Sunday we was chilling. We didn't we didn't do much. Um, Sunday just relaxed, saw some football. That was it, man. I was outside playing with the kids. I ain't really. You know, kept it low key for the most part. That's what's so what's caught some football games. Uh yeah, I was. I, I caught a little bit. Um, I watched the Laker game. Oh yeah, that, that AD shot. That it, AD. yeah, that shot was nuts. A three nuts in the game. Yeah, that was crazy. A lot of people talking about LeBron. LeBron ain't winning. That's what I'm saying. I mean, question yeah, he passed a shot up, huh? Question huh? not carrying the team. Yeah, yeah. The question is goatness. What you think? What you think about that, Jay? <laughs> I think he's the goat. Period. People <laughs> gonna talk all they want. Wait, wait, the goat? Nah, he ain't the goat. He's the goat. Oh, he's one of the goats. <laughs> he's the goat. Wow. In twenty twenty. In twenty twenty, he's the goat. He's not, uh, no, 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 no. That's, that's not the everybody. question. I like how you change. <laughs> Out of all the eras of basketball, right? Since basketball done started, right? Since Moses' days, right? Since <laughs> Moses' days till now. Wow. Switch. Who's the GOAT, man? Uh, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that ain't LeBron. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, but, but you have to understand, like, fine. You know, you can say, I mean, I'll say MJ. Um you know, when it comes to basketball career, but I mean, can you deny LeBron uh, nice from being nice at what he does? No, no, you can't. All right then. So no, we just want to make sure he's not considered better than MJ. Than Jordan? No, no. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We recorded you. All right. Yeah, we got him on pay. Got him on. We got, we got you on record. We got you on yeah. record. Yeah. <laughs> this is forever stamped it, in history. Just remember, and I can always edit. <laughs> what up jimmy how was your weekend man yo my my weekend was eventful but what you know we're we gonna get to that later you know what i'm saying but i think tnc's weekend was eventful. <laughs> yo I, I went to, I went to uh, church yesterday shout out to brother alexis uh he hit me up and he was like yo you going to johnny max tomorrow and i was like nah i wasn't planning on it like what's popping he's like oh i'm gonna pull up you know I was like, all right, cool, you know, I'll show up, I'll, I'll be there, you know. And so I show up and um he he wanted to see Johnny Mac preach, right? But uh he doesn't preach at the eight o'clock, you know, he preaches at the at the at the 10 30. And so he's like, I'm gonna go to the Spanish church, you know. I was like, all right, cool, let's go to the Spanish church. I've never been to the Spanish church at, at, at Grace Community Church, right? So I was like, all right, you know, let's go. And so I sit down, um, like we, oh, he, you know, he had saved me a seat, but because it was so packed, um, they ended up taking it from him. You know what I'm saying? They're like, no, we need a seat, brother, whatever, you know, and they took the seat from him. Uh, so I ended up sitting like somewhere else and I'm sitting there at the Spanish church and uh, I hear the the pastor say, uh, welcome, brother Pablo Washer. And I was like, wait, what? And Paul Washer... Uh walks up to the front of the church and he starts preaching in Spanish. I, I didn't know this brother spoke Spanish, bro. Like he's, his Spanish is better than switches, bro. Like it's Every, wow. Everybody's what? Spanish is better than switches. <laughs> what? Spanish. Wow. Paul Washer. Paul Washer. Like I didn't, what? I didn't know. The missionary I didn't know, though. How, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know he that. He was in South America. Yeah, well, he's married to, to a Peruvian woman. And his wife, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, yo, man, and it, it was it was really dope. It was a nice surprise, you know, because I wasn't planning to go. I wasn't planning to to, to go to uh, Grace Community yesterday. Um, I end up going, you know, to link up, you know, link up with the homie, and uh, and then I got to see. Not only did I get to see Paul Washer preach, but I got to see him preach in Spanish, which is it was just mind blowing to me. Wow, that's and, you know, that's pretty. And epic. the crazy thing is, is that I had seen, I had seen, uh, I was in the in the in the TNC Twitter account. Right. And we follow him. And so in one of his one of his uh, most recent tweets, he's like, you know, pray for me. I'm going to be preaching a full sermon in Spanish, you know, and uh, and I like mm -hmm. the joint. Right. I was like, oh, cool. You know, he's going to preach in Spanish. I'm thinking like he just learned Spanish. Right. That dude is like fluid, bro. That dude is fluid. Yeah. You know? 
so but in my mind when i saw the tweet i was like oh that's cool. it didn't connect yeah it didn't no well i didn't know i didn't know none of that information you know what i'm saying so in my mind i was thinking like oh uh he just learned spanish so he could preach so that's why he's asking people to pray for him you know what i mean like he, he how cute mm. he's learning spanish you know what i mean it is, it is so when i'm sitting there at the church and they're like you know welcome paul washer you know hermano pa- paulo washer um i was like it was it was like it was like the scene it was like the scene in usual suspects with kobayashi and all that you know when everything starts connected <laughs> like i just see the tweet i remember the tweet and i remember him say like you know asking for for prayer because he's going to preach in spanish like, pablo and it, yeah i was like what <laughs> yeah <laughs> Who's so possible? it was cool, man. It was real cool, man. Like I didn't really get to chill with with with, with um with uh, brother Lexus, but it was cool to 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 be there. You know, me worshiping God. Um, we got to get it afterwards or whatever. Um, you know, we took a little picture and everything. Uh, but it was it was just it was a dope experience. I felt I felt that it was um it was definitely God. You know what I mean? Um, mm. it was definitely God working, man. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not one of them hyper spiritual type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I really yeah. feel like like it was it was it was a perfect moment because uh, um, I was uh, I was going I was going through some things this weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, what, what, what's your man? How, how your man was preaching? Like, no, porque tú está cableando? No, no, nah, he was. Gosh. Estoy hablando de ustedes. <laughs> you know what? He he actually was. Uh, he he didn't preach like he preaches in English. Like oh, he nah. Was re- nah, he was real calm. Like the whole, it was the same message. Yeah, yeah. Just, but the delivery was different. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it okay, was. It was cool, he man. wasn't on his like, you know, drill music. Like, Paul Washer. Yeah, like you got to get saved. Smooth, type yeah, he was on his smooth Drake, <laughs> Paul Washer type delivery. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it was still the same message, but it was just you know the delivery was a little different. You know? Yeah, it man. was cool, man. It was it was a cool weekend, man. Overall, my son turned twenty. Yeah, I mean, we celebrate. Other birthday. Oh, everybody, yeah, on, yeah. on the same day, right? On the same day, man. What was it? Shout 19th? Out to, shout out, shout out to Eamon. Eamon, too. He his birthday is on the nineteenth. I talked to him. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, he's uh he's a Christian. He's a famous singer. Uh, he had a hit back in the day. Um, I <laughs> can't quote the name of the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> but but uh, he, he I guess he's in the in the in the uh, Guinness World Record too for that hit. Which really. Yeah, you can, you can, you can. Oh wow! On your own time, yeah. Oh wow! Okay. But um, he's a believer now. You know what I mean? He's a he's a reformed believer. You know what I mean? You okay. Know? He's tulip gang. Um, got and, the beard uh, and all that. <laughs> nah, he don't got a beard. They got nah. a beard. <laughs> nah, nah. But uh, yeah, I was talking to him because it was his birthday too, and he was telling me his pa's birthday and everything. Um, he said, you know, he got a lot of family that's that's uh that's born on that same day, uh, wow. which is really interesting. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Nice. Like I, I bu- yeah, I, bu- I bugged out when when Switch was like his son. I was like, word, like. Well, mine's is the twentieth. Oh, it, okay. It was the nineteenth, well, right? Yeah, mine's the nineteenth. Yeah, well, I celebrated a little early, but then the gotcha. next day or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know you, how it is. Celebrated on the Sabbath. <laughs> we celebrate all weekend, man. That's what we do, man. <laughs> all month, you know how it right, is, right, man. Right, right. right. But yeah, man, you was going through some things uh, this weekend. What's going on, man? Yeah, What's man, going on in this we, world, we, man? We, we, listen, man, we 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 could address the elephant in the room a little later in, in the podcast. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna hold that off for later in the podcast. You know what I mean? I think you got some other topics though, right? Oh yeah, yeah, man. You what other topics we got? No, uh, he said we ain't got nothing to talk about. <laughs> right? We got one talk topic. <laughs> I mean, the only topic I know. That's uh that's been brewing all over. Is uh, well Kanye West, right? He's been he's been pretty much uh. Yo, he's been in the news a lot, man. He's been really, the topic. Yeah, he 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 was he was dissing Puma, <laughs> right? So huh? they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puma when he said that designs are trash. He said basura. Oh yeah, he peed on the Grammys. He peed on the <laughs> Grammys. Oh yo, that's right, that's right. He, he peed on the up. Grammys. Uh, he he wanted an apology from uh, J. Cole and Drake. He oh, demanded yeah. an apology. Yeah. He did say that. That's, That's crazy. Oh, and then Mace turned around and said he wanted an apology from him. That. So what happened there? What happened there? Um, what was it? It was um, because... What did Kanye say? Well, did he say something? He did. He did. He actually did he said, apologize. How could you leave at the top or something like that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Right. 
But he said it was, but it was in a verse though, right? It was in a, something he he rapped about. That's the impression I got. Yeah, I was I, I wasn't familiar with the verse. Yeah, so it was a verse like years ago, and he was like, or he had, or was it an interview? I think, and he was like, that Mace basically left when he was like on top of the game, like you know, like how could you leave when you hot like that? You know what I'm saying? And it might have been a verse actually. Um, so he goes, and Mace goes. Listen, man, like you telling everybody they need to apologize to you, but you yo, so your man just left, right? So the verse is uh <laughs> devil in a new dress. Yeah. He said, put your hands to the constellations, the way you look should be a sin. You my sensation. Right. He said, Don't leave while you're hot. That's how Mace screwed up. Yeah. But Mace got upset, right? And he said I he when he demanded an apology at that point. Right. Because right. of what every because the way Kanye's talking now. So you know he's, but, Yeah, he's like keep that same energy. Right. But you know what? Kanye turned around and apologized. He was like, yo. He you said, know, You're right. Yeah, I said yeah. so, I said some stuff. I said some stuff and you know. And he said he all said it, he just said it for a hot line, basically. Yeah. So and right, then, right, he, right. Did he also um you know, talked about uh, the industry a little bit, how everybody be biting off their flows or whatever. And then he mentioned how he, uh, in the beginning, uh, was, like, inspired by Mace and, like, copied his flow, too. Stuff like that. Yo, Mace was a different rapper early on, like, because, you know, we don't get into the into the, into the weekend a little later, but... Um, yeah, Mace. I was listening. Was I was listening. Smooth Mace. Nah, man, I heard him on that... Uh, People done started something. <laughs> that's that was see that was murder mace. Yeah, that's how he man. that's how he was introduced when he was with Cam. Right, man. right. Well, Cam had a different flow too because I remember Cam from uh, when he that's had a, a joint with Big L. Because they were the, they were they had their own group. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cam, yeah. Mace, Big L, and um, McGruff. Right. It's we called Children of the Corn. How old are you, man? You know your history, bro. I like that. I like that. I thought you was like a young twenty-seven. But I see you know your history, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, children of the corn, yeah. and then they used to, right. um, they they all had, you know, they were they were rapping, rapping, it right, rip, rapidy rap. Yeah, they weren't doing all of that other stuff. So yeah, yeah. so I I heard, I heard Maze this weekend, um, because I was I was listening to that joint, and I was like, yo, Mace Mace got bars. Oh, Mace was nice, like you know, and and I was just like, yo, this is crazy, but um. Yeah, so so back to Kanye. Mm -hmm. Back to Kanye. So he um he apologized, huh? He apologized. He admitted that he was wrong, and I mean that was big of him. You know, he it wasn't even no beef. He was like, "Look, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I got caught up. Right. He was caught that's, up in what it was then. That's beautiful. That's beautiful that you can admit your mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where yeah, you can you can uh, you can say, "Look, man, I was wrong." I apologize. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 that's, that's beautiful, man. Because you know that that really shows like the spirit of God working in him. You know, the fact that because I I think a lot of times, um, we always want to point the finger at people, mm -hmm. right, and say like, yo, you know, you was wrong for this and that and the third or whatever. But we never point the finger, right? Because the scripture talks about the plank, right? The plank in your own eye, right? Right. That's what right. Jesus talked about. And um, it's not a speck. <laughs> right, right. And I, I think, I think so. I know, I know for me, uh, let me speak for myself. I know for me as a, as a, as a new believer, I was like very gun ho. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think everybody's like, like that. Well, I didn't want to say everybody because, you know, well, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything about anything. Well, that, that's true. But I, I, well, let me say this: the folks that I do know, right, right. myself, I was. I was yeah. like, hey, hey, man, watch it. What you doing? Right. You know right. How, <laughs> how, dare, how, how dare you? Right. Yeah. Well, I was. Well, I was practically talking. K, you know, King's James version. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How art disrespectful of Hey yo, you was you was you was on that that's not Christian before it was a podcast. No. <laughs> when you yo, when you first started. Yeah, you, look, you be looking at everything different. Yeah, and that, that's how, that, and that's how I was, bro. And and I, I definitely see some maturity in in Kanye because he's he's you know he's being accountable for his actions. I think like every every man should be accountable for his actions, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, the Bible says that we we have to, we have to take account for every word, right? That proceeds from my lips. So I think this is good, man. This is a good move. Um, I'm glad he reached out. Um, but Kanye got more drama too, right? He 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 had a uh, he had, I guess uh, some information came out about Jay Z and his masters. Did y'all hear about yeah, that? I yeah, I heard about that. So so uh, Jay Z sold. Kanye's masters to get his masters, <laughs> right? That's what they wow. Said. That's what they said. But it turns out that um, it was the whole Rockefeller. Um, yeah, it was, it was the, part deal. Of the deal. It was part of it. Yeah, so it wasn't like he intentionally sold, right. uh, like or specific to Kanye. Like he was trying to throw him under the bus. But it not, was not just, the not the way that it was framed, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, they yeah. try to make it seem like. He threw him under the bus to save himself. Right, right. That's how that's how I took it. When I saw that, when I saw the headline, and I was yeah. like, what? Whoa, this dude dirty. That's why, that's why Biggs and Dane don't like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they didn't even know that. They didn't even know that because they don't nah. even got beef like that. But um, but he still did them dirty though. Well, I guess I guess it would have been everybody. But then he said, right. then to turn around and say, yo, um, he still didn't get his masters for another 10 years. Right, right, right. That's crazy. That is, man. That is. So when it comes to, so I'm not well versed in the whole, you know, rapper industry or whatever. Well, good so you're ma- a rapper here. Yeah. Um, so your masters, obviously, it's a big deal for you to own it eventually, right? Yes. Um. So, what you have to pay a certain price for these masters, or if you or don't, does it, or does the label determine? Okay, after this amount of money that we've made off of you, and you'll pay us this fee, and then okay, you can have it now. I don't think it, it's not really. It, that's if they even want to sell it because yeah, it's, so, it's not an option they, for most. Right? Yeah, so some people could sign a contract and basically give their rights up, and um, you know the label owns it forever, so they're gonna always make money off of you. Now some people get to negotiate and keep their masters up front. So, you know, those are the lucky ones. Um, but that's what it is, really. It, it, you can, if you have enough money and, and they're willing, they might, um, you know, they might be willing to sell it to you. It just all depends on how much. If they feel like you're big enough, they probably won't. So unless you go Shug Knight on them. <laughs> so, um, nah, unless you go Michael Jackson on them, bro. He owned all everybody's masters. But Mike, see, but Mike, Mike was smart. Mike, right. Mike jumped in at any Before time. It was cool. Before, right? It was cool, right? <laughs> but he just he he jumped in with paper. Yeah, and you know that's why he bought the Beatles out. Right, right. right. And Prince was like that too. Yeah, I remember, I remember him. not just one account. A couple people talking about like Prince wanted to collab with them, but he was like, "Yo, when you get your masters." I'll work with you. Like yeah, he I think he told that to Nas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He said it to somebody else too, though, but sure. I can't remember who. Um, but he said it to a couple people, um, which inspired them to become owners. You know, right. and this is like, what was it, like 10, 15 years ago before like people were really talking like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's it's definitely a big deal because it's your livelihood, you know? It's 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 your it's your it's like it's your retirement, man, because you can always license, you know, you can always license uh, your music, you know, to, to especially now with streaming. I, I think that there's more opportunities for you to generate an income with your music than there was before, you know. Before so, it, so you it's think going. it's going to be more occurring like, hey, I want my master's uh, type of thing? Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. Uh, and, and look, it's even coming over to the podcast world, right? Because that's the whole just that's the whole beef with Joe Button and Spotify. Right. right, he he wasn't giving up his the rights to his show for wh- whatever amount of money they were right. willing to give him. Yeah, so, they wanted to give him a three sixty, which is wild, man. Right, but they were trying to give him a whole bunch of money. But again, he loses his rights. Right. So, right, you know. Yeah. Uh, now that uh, I was just thinking, um, I forgot to add on to the weekend part. I actually saw J Cole uh, in one of the malls, hey. the new malls that was there. And then uh, that got me thinking because we were going to talk about this. What was what? Well, what is it that uh, Kanye wants from J Cole regarding forgiveness? Besides the uh, "I'm sorry," like what did J Cole do? Oh, J Cole did the "False Prophets" um, song. Oh, okay. You mentioned Kanye in there. 
Okay, okay. And then Drake, obviously, with the whole push a T situation and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Which is interesting because it goes back to um right, us as right believers or us as individuals, right? Especially believers, right? Because we believe in forgiveness. We believe that Christ forgave us. Should we forgive people? Like, even if they never ask us for, even if they never give us an apology, like, should we, should we just be always that forgiving, even if they don't ask for that apology or, or, you know what I mean? Or give us an apology, shall I say, or, you know, is it, is it only if, 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 you know what I mean? If they come and they, and they ask for that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you had Jesus Christ who forgave all sin. I mean, you know, did those people or anybody be like, yeah, let me go to Jesus and say I'm sorry, you know? Right. And there's even people, you know, sad to say that once their life is over, you know, they probably won't say I'm sorry. But obviously Jesus will be the one to take care of what right. you know, what the soul does. And the Bible talks about forgiving seven times 70 or 77, mm-hmm. whatever, right. you know, over and over and over. Yeah. If right. If your brother transgresses against you. But I also feel like, you know, like, because Kanye is right. He's on, you know, he's claiming to be a believer. Right. And um, we are kind of seeing like a fruit of that. Right. Despite all the rants and stuff like that, right. we are seeing, um, you know, his walk live out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and hopefully, you know, that continues to grow more and more. Um, but you know, is is it like as a believer, like should I be demanding that, or should it just, or should it just be on some, hey, you know, like I forgive you off the strength, you know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> like when we read, uh, what is it, the sinner's prayer is like, you know, one of one of the 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 passages there is like, you know, uh, forgive those who sin against us, um, as you forgive us, you know, for our trespasses, kind of thing. Right. You know right. So. Right. You know, is I, I just wonder about that aspect. You know what I'm saying? Is that something that should be demanded? I think I think it's twofold though. Like forgiving somebody is twofold. I, I I think that it gives you a peace, right? You're not carrying that, right? Yeah. Like that. Bro, I don't even know how to say it. Rincor. How you say that? What's that what's that word? Like, like anger, no? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like you, you carry that when you when 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 you have this bitterness, you know what I'm saying? This, right. This, um, so I think it's twofold, and then two, it 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 releases the person, you know what I'm saying, from that from that burden too. Like that, I got messed up, man. I got to make it up to switch because I said this or I did that. You know, what I mean? mm. you know, funny story. Paul Washer was talking about this weekend. Um, he, uh, you know, because I was chilling with Paul Washer this weekend. You know, okay. <laughs> um, he said that. He had he he was talking about how um you'll see fruit in a believer's life when they become a believer, right? It's like if if you if you tell somebody that you have a meeting, let's say at at six p.m., right, and you show up late, and you show up late because you know, like I show up to I show up to our meeting late, right, switch, and um and I'm like, yo, I'm sorry, switch. You know, I got into, into this crazy car accident. I got hit by a five ton truck, you know, whatever, whatever. And you're like, you expect to see some type of impact, some type of result from that crash, right? That I had with the five ton truck, right? Right. Like my car isn't going to be in perfect tip top condition. There's going to be some effects to that, right? Um, so he was talking about how with believers, it's the same way. Like you'll see some kind of impact of God's um, love, right? Uh, his his uh, his redemption in our lives. You'll see some sort of fruit. Um, and then he went on to he went on to to, to talk about an example of uh, of that type of fruit in his own life, where he uh, his daughter was like asking him something, and you know how it is when your kids are like bugging you, and sometimes you might just lose your temper, um, yeah. or you just might be not even lose your temper, like you mad or, or anything like that, but you just be quick, like a quick you know response, like you know like like they're bothering you, you know it is what it is, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And he said he felt so convicted after. Right. And uh, he went to the room and he prayed, you know, and, and then he came back to his daughter. and He's like, yo, you know, like, forgive me. You know, and she's like, nah, it's cool. Don't worry about it. You know, don't trip or whatever. He's like, nah, nah, nah. You got to release me. Right. Mm. So she's like, she's like, uh, she's like, daddy, she's like, you sinned against me. 
right? You sinned, you sinned against me and I forgive you, right? Wow. You know, and, and that was pretty, that was like, for me, that was pretty impactful, man, because like to hear those words that you're forgiven are, are so, um, they're just so powerful, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and I think, I think sometimes we take it for granted because like, you know, like I, like, like she said, ah, you know, don't, don't trip. You're cool. Right. But how many times like you ever, you ever gotten into, into like a, a, a discussion with somebody, a disagreement or something like that. And then some old come up. Right. So yeah. will come up. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yo, yeah. I thought we was cool, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought you said we was okay. Like, you know, what's going on? You know what I mean? But I, th- I think when you when you tell somebody that they're forgiven, it's, it's like you release them from that, you know? Right. Um, so I, I think it's I think it's twofold, man. I, I, th- right. I think it's I, I think you could forgive somebody without them ever asking for an apology. You know? Nice. I, and I agree. And I, I and I also think, I mean, if you feel strongly about it, then you should approach the situation you know what i'm saying like i don't think it's wrong neither you know what i mean to be like hey you know you know you kind of you kind of um you know you're sending like you did something wrong to me you know what i mean because i I feel i feel like i i need to demand an apology (laughs) (laughs) and you know and you know sometimes people talk about you know the forgive and forget and people say well i'll forgive but i won't forget you know what i'm saying right well see i don't i don't know see that I I I I subscribe to forgive and forget. I mean to to fig forgive but not forget, right? Really? Okay. Because like if I'm walking down the street, right, it it, it and some kids throw a rock at me, right? Let's just say I'm like, all right, cool, you know, forget it. I'm gonna leave them kids alone. They're just messing around, and I and yeah. I keep going down that street, and they keep doing it. Um, I'm not gonna forget that every time I walk down that street, someone's gonna throw a rock at me. I'm gonna take a different path. You know what I mean? Because Right. I don't like that type of abuse. And so I don't want to be around abusive people or toxic people like that. So I'm not going to forget, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we cool, but that don't mean we got to be cool. You know? <laughs> I, hear you. I, I, I mean, you that's, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be the, you know, I'm not going to be your punching bag dog. You know what I mean? So yeah. Well, that's, I, I, well, that's, I, well, that's, I guess that's depending on the individual, right? Because if the person, yeah. Yeah. Really the person is toxic and they're like, like yo, bro. Like I'm, I'm not. You know, this is not. This right. is out of my character. This is not something right. that I've ever done. You know. Right. Right. I, like, I think that there has to be some sort of remorse. You know, what I'm saying that there has to be some sort of, uh, some sort of change in the person. You know, what I'm saying because like, my daughters, my sisters, my cousins, my mom, anybody. Like, if if they're with a man who's abusive, I'm not gonna tell them forgive and forget. Go ahead and go back to that dude. Right, right, right. Seventy times, seven times. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, nah, huh. you no. No, you're gonna remove yourself from that situation. Exactly, Absolutely. exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I, I would say I subscribe to that. You know? Nah, I feel you. I feel you. But when someone comes with a repented heart, right? That's yes. the whole thing, right? Like, they're Absolutely. supposed to change, and especially like in the gospel, you know, uh, you know, when it comes to the Lord forgiving Israel, right? And, right? and us and our sins. And it's like, you know, I, I will remember your sin no more. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of right. like that. Right. We good, man. We we chill. Right. <laughs> right. I don't I don't even I'm not we let's not even talk about that. We passed that already. You right. Know? Right. That's that's right. interesting because my grandfather, he passed away um due to COVID nineteen this year. And um when he was right. younger and he he had my pops and you know my pop siblings right he was very abusive towards my grandmother and to the kids yeah and uh they had a hard time building a relationship with him and mm-hmm. he kind of like left you know they left they all split up right my grandma went her way my grandfather went his way grandfather got remarried and then as he got older though you know he would always address he would always come back and tell my pops you know forgive me for what i've done you know what i'm saying and my pops would be like, nah, I don't worry about it. Every time I talk to you, you like, you know, forgive me, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? And he just had that repentant right. heart because he right. knew how much he knew damage he, yeah. it caused. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he 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 actually was a believer, became a believer. Um, you know, in his in his in his later years, and um, you know, it's just interesting to see how he was still repentful because I mean, obviously, if you hurt your kids like that, you always gonna feel some type yeah. of way about that you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, right, right. <laughs> that's always going to be in your mind especially if you become a believer you know what i mean so it's just interesting man so remember to forgive your brother you know what i mean that's real forgive them all and address the situation when you need to i forgive you joy